welcome back guys to my channel so in today's video I want to tell you something new that's gonna be happening in my channel I'm actually decided to get into saltwater aquarium setup and uh, I bought all of my necessary equipment and everything I needed I didn't need too much because I already had a couple of tanks laying around so um, in today's video I will be showing you how to set up a saltwater aquarium on the basic uh, situation and what you need and the approximate cost of it and uh, but I'm not a professional by any means this is uh, me getting into this uh, hobby with you guys if anyone is interested and uh, hopefully it will be fun and uh, I really uh, want to make it super cool and uh, have a fish care channel uh, on both uh, sides because not everybody are doing salt water and fresh water and uh, but in my opinion f salt water is very beautiful it's just uh, uh, very how to put it it's very expensive to keep up but uh, I think it's worth it in the end of the day especially if you have a smaller tank of course so let's get into it I'll show you all of the things that you need to have in order to start uh, your salt water tank okay thank you so like you see here this is my 10 gallon tank if you remember from my previous videos it was my fresh water setup it's very dirty right now but we will go ahead and rinse it uh, out so that's not a problem and like you see already I have this uh, beautiful sea background um, put on it so it will look very nice and yeah this is my I, I was thinking to start off with a five gallon but I think 10 gallon is a better choice because you won't have such a fluctuations in water parameters so it's better to have more volume of water and 10 gallon I wouldn't really recommend going any anything smaller than 10 gallon but it, of course it's up to everybody's choice so next thing you need to have is this um, hydrometer it's uh, very essential because it measures the salinity of uh, your water so this one is a must when you have a uh, salt water aquarium a cup just for later maybe, maybe we'll need something uh, for I mean with the salt then I bought this um, stability this one is pretty much like new tank um, new tank startup uh, helper and it has some beneficial bacteria and this one is I picked this one because um, I used to use a tough end brand but this one is very good because it's uh, specially designed for marine life and fresh water so you can use it for both but it's better to have something that's designed more for like uh, marine life and especially if you don't know much about it it's uh, better to go with a safer choice then I have my uh, aqua clear 20 filter which I did review on it and also I need to rinse it off and everything because it, it has lots of dust from laying around and these filters are awesome like I talked about I talked about it a lot already and um, uh, this one should be more than enough because it's the double the power of the 10 gallon I, I'd say it's uh, perfect for a 10 gallon tank and then you I bought a few like uh, new inserts for it because the old inserts I don't want to use the old inserts except I might use the sponge because the sponge is still okay from my previous aquarium aquarium use so I'll just keep it I didn't buy a sponge yet but I might need it a little bit later so this is my compartment for everything oh, of course you need a heater to maintain the temperature for whatever fish you plan to have and then uh, you can go with the substrate pretty much it doesn't really require a live sand especially but most of the people uh, are saying that you have to have a live sand of course it's good because it has a million of beneficial bacteria and it's all comes from um, ocean too so this stuff is very good but like lots of people say that the li live rock is more beneficial of course than a live sand so you can probably go with crushed coral for your substrate or anything like that but I, I prefer to stick if you're a beginner like me I prefer to, to be on the safe side and have a live sand uh, with some extra bacteria to help uh, break down all the waste I have two bags five pound bags for my 10 gallon tank so like you know you should always consider having uh, one uh, uh, one pound per gallon so I have 10 pounds here so that's more than enough especially if I'll have some rocks in here later on and of course the aquarium salt the one that I have is uh, called reef crystals 
and this one is formulated specifically for like uh, if you want to plan to if you plan to have corals in here which i do i want to have corals um, in this tank i want to have a this one is a little bit more expensive than the other one but it should be like very good and this is pretty much everything you need to have to set it up so now i will go rinse everything and um, i'll show you how to mix uh, salt water uh, salt with uh, water and then we'll go from there okay guys okay guys so i rinsed my aquarium and i set up my uh, heater for desired temperature which is 75 fahrenheit it's a mid temperature for most of the fish anyways and i'm not too sure yet which fish i'll be keeping but i was uh, planning to buy clown fish maybe and clown fish uh, temperature ranges anywhere from 72 to 78 so mid uh, range is probably the best way to go and also like you see here i already inserted all of my uh, 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 filter media and i'm just missing an elbow from my aqua clear and uh, i'll be good to go so now let's talk about the salinity of the water and how much salt do you really need so for a five gallon amount of water you need 1.4 pounds of uh, salt but in my case I have a three gallon bucket over here well it's not full of course but there's exactly three gallons of water in here and like you see I have a pump so when I pour my salt in here it will help to stir up the salt faster for it to dissolve, dissolve of course but before you put any salt in your tap water you want to uh, use tap water conditioner of course which I did already and, and it was sitting for about 15 minutes already like this so it's perfect time to add salt but for three gallons, uh, uh, for, for three gallons of water, you want to have about 0 0.9 pounds of sea salt. And I have this scale over here, which is very handy. And like you see, I have exactly 900, uh, 0 0.9 uh, pounds. So this amount will be perfect for three gallons of water. So let's go and pour it inside the bucket. You want to kind of disturb it a bit around your stuff and of course you want to stir it up with your hand as well but the pump will help it help this to go around more smoothly and this this process can take uh, for a while because uh, even though this sea salt dissolves very fast but it's uh, still um, uh, lots of it on the bottom so you want to kind of stir it, stir it up with your hand and uh, leave it for about 10 minutes with this pump going on i'd say and after i'll finish this i'll uh, pour it all in my aquarium so now let it uh, let, let it sit for a while and i want to put my scent uh, in my aquarium so let's do okay, that so this is my live scent now this is the first bag going in and uh, I'm really excited because if you see it's not it's not completely transparent white and uh, oh yeah and uh, don't forget to remove these uh, bags this is the cl clarifier for your water so it's handy to have if you want to rem get rid of all the all the cloudness of your water but I'm not gonna be using it because I'm not putting any fish uh, in here for about uh, another week so there's no need for it and this is my second bag going in and after all of this is in I will disturb it the sand evenly and uh, it will be ready for saltwater aquarium water to go in so it looks pretty awesome guys with this uh, live sand already inside and all disturbed it evenly and I have my hydrometer over here on the left already it should be inside the water tank if you guys don't know and uh, what I'm gonna be using is just this lid from my aqua clear I'll put it right here on the bottom so I wouldn't so I'll try to disturb it less with the sand and hopefully the water won't be too cloudy so I can read the salinity level of it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so let's go let me grab this bucket it's already ready I took out the uh, pump from there and I check the bottom to see if there is any leftover salt so now let's go and pour it in hopefully 
I won't disturb it too much sand. That's the only thing that I'm worried about right now. Ah, uh, that's not good already. I should have used maybe a plate or something. But it should be okay. Okay guys, uh, so finally I'm done. And uh, it wasn't too bad actually for the first time setting up the saltwater aquarium. Like you see here my... Uh, uh, my salinity level is uh, over 20, it's around 29-ish and uh, gravity is just where I need it to be right somewhere in the middle but I'm not too sure uh, when I'll buy my fish of course I will ask my uh, them uh, their water parameters and I'll try to match it as uh, as best as I can but like, like you see now my filter is working pretty decently right now I plugged it in I didn't plug in my heater yet you cannot see it oh, from this side because I don't have fish in here anyways and I'll just plug it in maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow because I'll still have to cycle this tank for about um, a week at least and I will also add this uh, stability sorry for the mass it's some water spilled out and uh, uh, I will add this stability and bacteria as well to this aquarium and uh, hopefully next week or maybe somewhere uh, in around 10 days uh, time frame I'll be able to set up uh, so put some fish in here and buy some live rocks of course but for now everything seems to be working good and if anyone curious it took me 2.5 pounds of uh, uh, sea salt to mix with the water and I have about 9.5 gallons of water here so and you see my readings are right about in the middle so this is perfect that's all I needed and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe and uh, to my channel because there's there will be so much more cool stuff coming up and uh, thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye guys